Hello again. Uh, this time we talk about, I'm just going to, I decided to do each of these separately. So these will be probably shorter videos, kind of nice and separate uh, here. Uh, this is one that I don't actually have a video on. Um, but, you know, paranoid schizophrenia is, is the one that a lot of people kind of think of that whole, you know, people are watching me, I'm hearing voices, the, uh, the aliens are talking to me, or, or, or so on and so forth. So um, this one actually is, is seems to be the least severe and have the least withdrawal as far as getting out of these things, even though visually it's very, you know, uh, it's portrayed a lot in, in movies and things like that. So anyway, let's get to it. Uh, again, this will be fairly short. Paranoid schizophrenia. Oh, pause. Do this for your pause. Okay. It's dominated by, and these words are good, absurd, which is a great word to me. Absurd, illogical, and changeable. These could be, you know, the government, this could be aliens, this could be my neighbor, this could be the fruit at the fruit stand, this could be animals who are implanted with things. Um, are watching me or about the self. I am Napoleon. I am an alien. I am the king. I am, um, you know, here to to destroy human, whatever it is. Okay, but these these are about other people and about the self. And like I said, they change. They're just absurd. Why would aliens be watching you? If we were in class, I would just point, like we'd open the windows and I would look out and you know, the cell tower, there's a cell tower. Some of these guys, you know, cell towers, uh, the pandemic, you know, people just grab onto this. That doesn't mean if you grab onto those things, you're schizophrenic, but schizophrenics, paranoid schizophrenics often would, or they create their own. But that cell tower, there's a camera there, and it's obviously watching you, and it just point to one of you. It's watching uh, Evan or Jack or I'm trying to think who else is it, Kendall. Who's sitting on that side? And no matter what you do, they've got every cell tower's got something for you. And then two weeks later, it might be, oh no 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 no, that's a cell tower. So it's ridiculous. It's the the cats, the cats have been implanted with, and so on and so forth. Um, they have hallucinations, mostly auditory. It's my drone of an ear, by the way. If you can't tell what that is, with the little earring. Uh, sometimes visual, which is more, I suppose, romantic, but but auditory, mostly hearing voices. And then sometimes, like I said, seeing things, but it's, it's mostly voices. Uh, erratic, unpredictable behavior. It might be walking down the street and they'll just dart or stop, turn around, move. Um, that kind of thing, because they think they're avoiding or trying to shake a tail or avoiding surveillance or trying to get away from someone or something like that. Uh, often a loss of judgment due to the delusions. If you think you're Napoleon you're not going to make good decisions because you're going to go, let's go attack Russia or, you know, not really, but you get the idea, hopefully. Um, and that can lead to some very erratic behavior as well. And, uh, you know, theoretically get a person in trouble, if you will, physically or, or otherwise. Um, if they, if they truly are convinced of something or, you know, 15,000 phone calls to, to the uh, CDC about their ideas about the, Wuhan virus and all that stuff so yeah again less severe it tends to be less withdrawal um, but that's kind of what it is again with all of the other stuff to varying degrees from undifferentiated all right quick bye